Hi, my name is Laura Batante. This is my two bits, and today I have this fun little uh, felt penguin wand to make. And so he goes, uh, as you can see, with last week's craft with the little paper one. So um, I just thought he was fun and he'd make a cute wand. So there you go. And um, when you download the template from the video notes, I think you'll notice that it looks pretty similar. There's just a few little tweaks to make it a little bit easier. And other than that, it's pretty similar. So materials for this project, of course, the template. And then you're going to need some black, white, and yellow felt. You are also going to need a wand. Now you can use um, whatever you like. I'm going to use this little combination that's worked for me in the past. So this is a wooden skewer and this is a paper straw. And I'm just going to insert it inside, um, add a little glue, and then we will put the penguin up here. So it's nice because these you know, come decorated, so it's super cute that way. Um, and then you'll have a little bit of stuffing, very little. I'm using uh, felt and foam tacky glue. I have fabric scissors for my um, felt and then my regular scissors for paper. And then you might want to have some ribbon and embellishments. So um, I put a few little beads on here too. You can do whatever you like to make it fancy. Uh, the paper clips are to hold the uh, template in place while you cut. You can, of course, use the little sewing clips or um, pins whatever, but I do recommend that you do uh, attach the template so it doesn't slip around on you because when you're cutting two pieces of felt, it can be a little challenging, especially if you don't have the best scissors. Um, and there you go, that's all we need. So uh, let's get started. First thing we're gonna wanna do is cut out the template pieces and attach them to our felt. All right, so we have our pieces cut out and I'm just going to put my glue on uh, you could do this before you even cut out just to give it a chance to dry. So I'm putting some down there at the bottom. And I'm going to put some up here uh, at the top. And I haven't had any problems with this sticking. Um, so I don't glue the whole thing, but you know, you can do whatever you like. And this whole, the wood part will be up inside the penguin. So we'll just put that aside to let it dry. And then um, when you cut out your pieces, um, you need to remember to cut the front off the tail. The t Let me rephrase, cut the tail off the front. And um, then we can attach the face. I'm just gonna remove this. So we'll, we'll put this where we like it. And we'll put the beak and the um, eyes on. And I didn't mention using a Sharpie or something to put the eyes on when I was talking about materials. Uh, but you are gonna want either a Sharpie or if you want, you could um, glue on beads, that would work too. Although they may be more inclined to fall off. There we go. And then this little beak. I love this glue, you just really don't need tons, which is nice. All right, and then we'll put on the eyes and then that'll be ready to attach. So I'm using a fairly small um, nibbed permanent marker um, because sometimes I find that they bleed a bit. So I think I have a little bit more control this way, but Anyway, there you go. So that's done. And now we are talking construction. Now, my wand is probably still a little bit wet, but we're gonna persevere. I'm going to lay a little bit of glue right up the center here. And then put him back in place. And then I'm going to attach the feet to the front, so we'll do that. And then I like to make sure that I'm putting the stuffing 
on the um, front so that you don't get this sort of stick pushing through. Although we do have two layers here, so it's unlikely that we would have a problem. So really then all we're going to do is we're going to put a little layer of glue all the way around the edge. And of course the wings can have glue for the whole thing. Do not glue the tail because it doesn't have anything to attach to. This glue is so thick, it's a, a workout to squeeze my bottle. There we go. Oops, almost forgot this. I'm holding it in my hand and I almost forgot it. So as you can see, you don't need very much. And then this is another really good opportunity to use your um, clips. So whatever you used to hold your template on, this would be a good time to put those back into action. All right, all done. And um, basically, once the glue dries on this, you just add whatever ribbon you have on hand and then some embellishments if you want to. So these are uh, cardstock um, snowflakes that I punched and then I added a few beads. And honestly, um, use whatever you have on hand, whatever you like. Um, there is no wrong way to do it. So have fun with that. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, then please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much.